Hello, Pisces. This is your girl here, Miss Hawaii, coming at you. And it is time for your general love reading. How are all my Pisceans doing? Kaylee jumped up to say hello. How are all my Pisceans doing? Hope you guys are doing great, my fellow water signs, Pisces. A few things before we get into the reading. First of all, if you would like to inquire about a personal reading, you can do so by emailing me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. That's MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. I am asking for about a week to two weeks to get you the reading. Um, if you need the reading expedited, 24-hour readings are available with a fee, okay? To pay the expedited fee, I'll get you the reading in 24 hours. Otherwise, I'm asking for a week to two weeks. MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. All right, the video is not going to resonate with every single Pisces out there, but if it does resonate with you, don't forget to show me some love by liking, subscribing, leave me a comment if you feel comfortable. Let me know how it resonates. The energies can always be reversed, okay? This is a positive only zone, so don't come on here talking no shit. Peace and positivity only, all right? What else, Pisces? Um, I have a new membership channel. Don't forget to click the join button now, right under the video. Um, you become a member and you'll get access to tons of readings throughout the week that are randomly released, different messages from the tarot for you. You also get 10% off your first personal reading, so don't forget to become a member. I also have a new Scorpio only channel. I'm gonna put the information for that in the description box below because the Scorpios demanded it. They need more love. So I wanna make more videos for my Scorpios. So if you're dating a Scorpio or interested in the Scorpios, or if you are a Scorpio, go ahead and join. The sun is here in reverse, Pisces. We dealing with a Leo? Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. If not, I'm seeing you being very unhappy right now. Your sun is dim right now and the devil is here. Some of you dealing with a Capricorn. Pisces, there's toxicity around you. Something around you that's toxic, that's making you very unhappy. Some type of unhealthy attachment here. That's what I'm getting so far, okay? Oh shit, I was about to spill. Definitely getting that. So we're going to do the Celtic cross for you. Using the Supernatural deck today for y'all. Following this reading is going to be the extended. Where I'm going to pull your person's cards. Get their energy. See how they're feeling about you. What actions they're going to be taking forward. Moving um, you know, forward towards you. And what is your advice from the universe? I'm also going to pull an Oracle card for you. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, thank you so much for a clear and guided reading from my Pisces. <laughs> my fellow water sign. Please show me how my Pisceans are feeling in love. How are my Pisceans feeling in love? Show me how my Pisceans are feeling in love, Spirit. Thank you so much. So if you're not familiar with the Celtic cross, each card has a specific meaning. You'll see. Show me my Pisceans. How are they feeling in love? Why is the sun in reverse? Something y'all unhappy about, pessimistic, pessimistic about. And like I said, some of y'all dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. I see that off the bat. Not all of you, of course. Let's see. All right. Card one. Card two. Card three. Card four. Card five, card six, card seven, card eight, card nine, card ten. Bottom of the deck, the hermit, Virgo energy. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo here. Or this could be you being spiritually enlightened right now. Maybe some of you are in a period of solitude. Maybe this is your person right now in a period of solitude. But the, the hermit is about spiritually, being spiritually enlightened. Um, taking a pause here for self-introspection, okay? To really listen to the universe, to really try to become more wise. And, you know, maybe taking a step away from, you know, being out and all that, okay? So let's start with card number one. Card number one is going to reflect your current situation. It's going to show us what's going on in your current situation right now, Pisces. Let's see. Come on, card. The tower in reverse. Oh, Scorpio energy. Okay. 
So I'm seeing a resistance to change here. Heavy. Fear of the unknown for some of you. Towers trying to come down. Towers are about the universe here. Removing something that's not supposed to be there. Whether it's a job, whether it's a person, whether it's uh, relocation. You know, you being in, in, in a town you're not supposed to be in. You know, uh, friends, friendships you're not supposed to be in. Something here that the, that the universe is trying to remove. Okay, but I feel like there's a resistance here for you. Some of you may have delayed a disaster. Maybe you averted a disaster here with that tower in reverse. Maybe it was something that was about to be a tower, but you, you, you saw that shit before it hit. Could be. Let's see number two. What is the opposing energy? Mm. A page of cups in reverse. This is who this is about. Somebody, some of y'all that got a hard time expressing their emotions. Very immature energy. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or they could have water in their chart, possibly. But I'm seeing somebody here that's emotionally withdrawn. Emotionally immature. Could also be some bad news some of y'all received here with that page of cups in reverse. That could mean like you got feelings for somebody that don't got feelings back for you. Or the person you found out you got feelings for, got another girl, got another man, about to get married. Got somebody pregnant on the way. Some bad news you found out, Pisces. All right, for some of y'all. Now, three, what lies beneath unconscious forces affecting? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of y'all, somebody else here. That's the problem. Page of Cups in reverse could be you. Could be you being emotionally overly emotional about this situation. Feeling rejected, hurt. But then I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. Who is that? Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Some of y'all, this is somebody else. Somebody dealing with somebody else. Let's see four. What are you consciously aware of? The Ace of Blades. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. What happened? Some of y'all, oof. Some of y'all, this person that cut you out their life. That Ace of Swords could be like brutality right there. Something sliced through. Y'all got the truth here about something. The Eight of Wands. What is behind you? The past events that affect your situation. Okay, shit was moving or some type of chaos I'm seeing. Shit was moving fast for some of y'all with that Eight of Wands. What is before you? Potential events you'll face. Seven of Cups. Options. Having to make a decision here. Let's see how you feel about the situation. Eight of Swords in reverse. You want to be free. Freedom. Independence. Hmm. How your person feel? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like this person. I feel like this person. Um, they're interested in you. I just feel like they're gonna take a long time. That Knight of Pentacles. I don't know what the hell is going on. I have to clarify these cards here. And then of course when I get in the extended, I'm gonna pull their energy more, and I'll be able to see hopes and fears. Nine of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Your fears are that this person don't want to put in no work towards this towards you. Just walk away from you and all the work you put in was for nothing. That's your fear that this person just ain't going to do nothing. Let's see what the potential outcome is. The page of bones in reverse. Oh boy, aka page of wands in reverse. Okay, wow. Okay, some of y'all dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh. Pisces, y'all look indecisive right now. Y'all look like y'all really trying to 
figure something out. I feel like trying to make a decision about somebody. And I feel like you have not let this person go. The tower is here in reverse. But something may have happened to kind of push you to let this person go. But some of y'all, this person got somebody else. They have somebody else here. You may not even know it. Some of you do know it. All right, show me this tower in reverse. What is this resistance to change for Pisces? Thank you, Spirit, so much. Thank you. What is this tower in reverse? The star card, the three of pentacles, and the six of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Tower. Wow. Scorpio energy. Tower from two different decks. I think a lot of y'all realize here, y'all are wanting something here with somebody, but it ain't it equal give and take. I got to keep it real with you. I'm seeing a star card. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius with the three of pentacles. <laughs> Could be a definitely a third party situation. Okay. And because three is a crowd and six of pentacles in reverse. This is not, this, you're not getting treated equal here in this relationship, Pisces. I don't know why you're holding on. And I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do, but I mean, <laughs> you deserve better. Don't you believe that? This person want to give you a half ass. Or they want you to wait on them. I mean, it's up to you. You could do whatever you want, but this is what I'm seeing here. I feel like you, I feel like you're really wishing and hoping, praying with this star card here. You can see it with this person. But I feel like the three of pentacles is here. It's like you're really trying to build here with this person. You're really trying to make this come together with this star card. You're putting in work, but six of pentacles is in reverse. Some of y'all be giving this person money. This person is a taker for some of you. Six of Pentacles in reverse. I don't like that. Some of y'all, this person is actually mean to you. And the tower is here. So something destructive here happened. And you're still like holding on. Let me see the page of cups in reverse. Show me the page of cups in reverse, please, spirit. Thank you so much. The eight of wands, the two of pentacles, and the ace of cups. Yeah, this is you. Ten of Cups. You you really, this is you right here, Pisces. You want love with this person. I think you have strong feelings for them. You want things to really work. And I feel like you're really trying to weigh out your options here. Some of y'all, this person may have a family, have other, you know, somebody else with this Two of Cups or Ten of Cups. Or some of y'all may have kids with this person. Or maybe you can see yourself being with this person long term. Ten of Cups, that's happily ever after. With the Ace of Cups, you really... You're into this person big time. Eight of Wands is like you want shit to move. You want you want this shit to be like Eight of Wands is here twice. And I also feel like these are your emotions, like rampant for this person. You have strong feelings here. Wow. Let's see this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? Show me the Queen of Pentacles, please. Thank you, Spirit, so much. The Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, with the Four of Cups. This is you. Hmm. Pisces, I feel like a lot of y'all are doing very good for yourselves right now. So outside of this crazy situation that's going on with this person that you're trying to build with, you're doing really good for yourself. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You're coming up Nine of Cups. But three of swords, you're heartbroken here. Like you're realizing here that love is supposed to be about more than this. Four of cups. Some of y'all even have moments where this person makes you feel rejected. So you're getting to the point now where you're like, you know six of pentacles is here again. Some of y'all need to stop giving this person money or helping this person financially or just giving period to this connection. Because I'm seeing the three of swords in the middle here with the four of cups. You're not happy. You're not happy, Pisces. You have to keep it real with yourself. Something is missing here from this connection. I see you. Very independent. Very giving and nurturing in this connection. A lot. Six of Pentacles. And the person, you know, when you're with them and everything is going good, it actually feels really good. Like, you're really satisfied. This, you, you know, you feel like this is exactly what you wanted with the Nine of Cups. But then the Three of Swords, when this person either ghost you or just doesn't put in the work here they're supposed to put in see the page of wands in reverse this is them i feel like this person is very immature some of you guys it's like a sex thing you know what i mean
show me this ace of swords what was this ace of swords some type of truth here realization pisces something hit you judgment in reverse wow yeah i feel like you realize your self-worth here i feel like you are realizing your self-worth here the devil again you're realizing that this is unhealthy capricorn energy fool in reverse yeah but you're also hesitant here you're still holding on to this person though ace of swords in reverse now bottom of the deck you're confused as well but i feel like or maybe there was a point where you were confused but i feel like you're not or you're starting to get it now okay you're starting to get it a little bit better the devil is here with the fool in reverse you know that you have to let go of this unhealthy attachment before you can jump into anything new with somebody some of y'all just feel like this person made you look like a damn fool with that fool in reverse <laughs> Show me the eight of wands. What is this fast moving energy here? Thank you, spirit. What is this fast moving energy? The queen of wands in reverse, the king of pentacles, judgment in reverse, and the three of wands with the four of cups. Oh shit, again. Mm, some of y'all, there's definitely somebody else here. Some This person is giving to somebody else to another connection. Um, hmm. Wow. I feel like you feel the passion dying too. You feel the passion going out, Pisces, because it's like this person is not, you know what I mean? And the crazy thing is that you feel in you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here, you feel in you that this person does have it in them to actually commit. You know what I mean? But it's like judgment in reverse. It's like this person is not. Some of y'all, it's like turning y'all off. Like, you know what I mean? Show me the seven of cups. I don't know if this is you guys having options or wishful thinking here. Let me see. Or, you know, let me see. Justice in reverse, the emperor. Ooh, magician in reverse. With the queen of cups, that's you. Some of y'all got options here, but I'm seeing some... Hmm. Y'all been done dirty in the past with that justice card in reverse. Libra energy. I feel like some of y'all got options, but you just not even like fucking with them because so many devils out here, magician in reverse... You know what I mean? That you don't really, you're not trusting it. You're not trusting it. Some of y'all, I, mm -hmm, I see definitely. Justice in reverse. Like, you've had people do you really dirty, Pisces. And now the magician is here. Yeah, magician in reverse. That's people, you have some toxic ass people trying to come in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Some of y'all got somebody else coming in here. Possibly an Aries or somebody here. An emperor, I'm seeing. This person seems like they're legit. That's for a specific person. You're coming up as the queen of cups. So I feel like you have a, you're have you ready for love. Like Very kind. Show me the eight of swords in reverse. What is this freedom here? This independence from my Pisces. The Nine of Wands, the Tower in Reverse, the Six of Wands in Reverse. Some of y'all felt like, listen. Some of y'all know that like, once you actually Tower in Reverse, like, some of y'all have already let this person go. You, you feel like you averted a disaster here, but I feel like, Some of y'all happy this shit didn't work out because you feel free from this situation. Nine of Wands is here. Y'all, this is the Wounded Warrior card. So Pisces, you've been through it. I said that already. You've been through a lot. You know, the Tower in Reverse is here again with the Six of Wands in Reverse. I feel like just a lot of y'all just a lot of bad relationships, shit that didn't work out from the past. You know what I mean? That you believed in. Maybe some of y'all clung on to them in the past. The other ones too. But I feel like there's something here about you guys being free. You know what I mean? You being a survivor here from this. 
for real, whether this relationship, this connection failed or not, show me the Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands, again, the Tower in reverse again, and the Four of Cups with the Page of Swords. So this person be watching you, spying on you. Some of y'all not talking to this person right now. This person been through a lot too. I see Nine of Wands, Tower in reverse. I don't feel like this person is letting you go either. I feel like if they are with somebody else, they're the Four of Cups. They are not happy with that person. They're not happy with that person. can't stop thinking about you thinking about you with diggy is playing right now i feel like this is this person baby i can't stop thinking about you i feel like this person be thinking about you a lot especially with this page of swords in reverse some of y'all dealing with an aquarius libra gemini i feel like they be watching you a lot okay because i feel like whatever their situation is even whether even if they're single dating in a relationship married they're not happy with whoever this person is they're resisting change as well and I feel like this person wants to put in work for you with, they want to put in work towards this, but I feel like it's not going to be right now because that Knight of Pentacles takes a long time. That's the slowest moving night in the deck. So I feel like it's up to you, Pisces. If you want to wait around for this person and see if they actually do fucking grab some balls and fucking do some shit, that's up to you. But I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it. Show me the Nine of Wands. I don't recommend waiting on anybody. It's not a good feeling. I've done it. It's stupid. It hurts. It's painful. You're putting your life in control in the hands of somebody else. Your happiness in, in, you know what I mean, into the hands of somebody else. Why? Yeah, some of y'all, there's somebody else here. That's y'all fear right here. That they're going to choose this person over you. That shit just ain't going to go. Yeah. That this person will cut you out and choose somebody else over you. The wheel of fortune is in reverse. That's like bad luck. Or just things never turning in your favor with you know with this person. That's your fear. Yep. Show me this page of wands in reverse. We're gonna go into the extended after this, where I'm gonna pull your person's cards, see how they feel about you, see what actions are gonna be taking moving forward towards you, and what advice we have for you from the universe, okay? The knight of wands in reverse, the seven of pentacles. One more card, please, for the Page of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, the Fool in reverse. Wow. Well, we're going to go into the extended. I'm going to tell you what I see. Um, I don't know what that if you're going to like it or... You might like it, you might not. Well, we'll see. I'm going to let you know because um, I already have a feeling here what's, go what's going on with this person. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the extended. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget if the video resonated. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonated. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to join my membership channel. Don't forget to hug somebody and tell them you love them. Okay, I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Don't forget to follow my kitties, Instagram, Kayleona. Kayleona the Siamese on Instagram, my little diabetic kitty. Show her some love. Don't forget donations, donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who's donated. All your donations go towards crystals, candles, new tarot decks, tarot books, sage, anything to help me help you. So any amount of and donations is appreciated. Thank you guys for all of them. And thank you just for your love. Donations as well. All right. I love you guys. Thanks again. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, Pisces. I hope this helped you. I hope it resonated some. Don't forget, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the extended.